Back to you. In and out, okay? Okay. okay? That was beautiful that round. In and out. He can't no, no, touch no, no, no. it. Okay. All right? Combinations out, make a miss, okay? Uh, Remember, he's gonna throw back when you finish, so okay. you can't stand in front of him. Okay? In eight rounds, Manny Pacquiao's thrown 785 punches. He threw 104 of them in the last round. Or was it 118? Well, at any rate, it was a huge number. Bang, 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 as I pointed out. And Claudi did not have an answer in the corner when Lenny DeJesus said, you're losing every damned round. Well, he's used to that. I guess when he just doesn't want to stretch out and take any risk at all. He's trying to win safety, but it's not going to happen. He realizes that this guy's out punching him. And when he does punch, he doesn't land that clearly on Manny anymore. He needs to step it up, but he's not willing to take that risk. First half of the fight, I would say that Claudi wasn't out of his mind to play some defense and try to pick his shots when he could. Right. Hard shots. But now we're into the point of the fight. Now going into, we're in the ninth round. He's lost every round. He's starting to get tagged more cleanly and more frequently. Now is the time in the fight where I wholeheartedly agree Claudi must really take chances because the win is already out of reach if he doesn't. It's going to have to be a knockout for him to win. I'm sorry, whether he was intimidated by Pacquiao's reputation or intimidated by what Pacquiao did in the ring or whether he didn't mentally prepare in such a way to be ready to take the risks, he hasn't given himself any chance in the fight. Well, this is him fighting his regular fight to me. Yeah, er yeah, early on. Yeah, regular fight. There you go. Best yeah. attack of the night but, by, by Joshua Claudi. But Manny's doing the, the, the Claudi on him. He's, yep, block, he's, he's blocking, up. blocking those shots. Yep. And hoping he can keep him punching like that and maybe he can catch him. Manny's defense has improved during the fight. Yes, it is. And he's still able to release his hands freely inside and out. Like that. And that. What an amazing combination puncher this man is. What a fabulous offensive fighting machine. Yes, as a crowd has never been in this type of a challenge. And to me, I see him just falling apart mentally. Early on, he seemed to be trying to take Pacquiao's measure. Look at this. I can hit him cleanly. Maybe I can set him up. And at some point along the way, Pacquiao, it seems, had convinced him he can't win the fight. Sportsman-like touching of the gloves at the end of the ninth round. Tacit acknowledgement by Claudi. Yep, you've got yeah. me. Come on. Let me hold it. Relax. Relax. You're taking a whipping, baby. Let's go. What's going on? Come on. We haven't won a round, baby. We're going to do something. Yeah. Come on. We did on the miss, remember? All right? The beat, the hit. You have to be set when you land, okay? You have to be ready, okay? All right? Quick one, two, out. Right hand, left hook. You know, I just caught Joshua Clotty's eyes. He came into the ring, and he gave me a look of discouragement. Yep. You know, when you're fighting for a championship of the world with everything on the line, millions of dollars, and, 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 and you're not even throwing punches, I mean, there's no excuse for that. You know, you sort of let everything hang out. Even if you get knocked out, at least go out fighting. Tough fight to score, Harold. 
the only thing tough about this fight is you wonder if you should give Manny Pacquiao a 10 8 round. He's, he's one of these rats so big. That's the only tough part, Jim. 9 to nothing, 90 to 81. Manny Pacquiao based on all those clean punches. I mean, and like you said, ring generalship and good Manny Pacquiao defense. See that? He flanked those shots. I mean, he's just winning these rounds convincingly. So, you know, you sit and wonder should you give him the extra point? Should you give him the extra point? But Joshua Clotty throws just enough to avoid the 10 8 round. 9 nothing, Pacquiao. And as Manny Pacquiao continues to bang away against Joshua Clotty's guard, occasionally getting a punch around the guard or through it, and Clotty throws one punch at a time, as he's done all night long, our Max Kellerman winds up in the Pacquiao corner with training Leonard De Lenny DeJesus. Max, take it away. Lenny DeJesus. Early on, Clotty seemed to be countering at times effectively, never moving his hands enough. At this point, he obviously needs something dramatic to win. What's going on? I'm telling you, he went back to his old style. Uh, he's trying to push him to throw more punches because if he throw punches, he create openings, but he's not doing that. I think he's being too cautious. In the game, he has to take a chance, but he's not. Why do you think that is? I think he's feeling uh, Manny power, uh, power, Manny Pacquiao's power. And he doesn't want to take the chance. Simple as that. Thanks, Lenny. Fascinating. Two years ago, Pacquiao was fighting at 135. Now Lenny believes that Clotty is scared of his power. I think exactly the same way. I think he felt that power from the manage, and then he, 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 he took it so he didn't want to take a risk. And that's just why Manny is a champion. Manny will gamble. You know, when you're fighting for the championship, you don't try to win the title from a champion. You take it from him. You come in with that attitude, I'm going to take it. This is mine. Give it to me. Well, and he's I, not fighting that way. He's just trying to just survive. You know, don't get hurt. You know, do that later on. But you're fighting for the championship of the world, man. Let it all go. Now, here's another point, and you just made this point about Pacquiao, really. You cannot be a great offensive fighter without taking risks. Manny Pacquiao is never afraid to take risks. Right. And that's why he's a champ. You know, and to me, such a drastic change after being with a fighter like Tommy Hearns. When you tell him sometimes to play it safe, he says, no, I've got to go out and fight. I mean, it's... It's oh, really no, 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 frustrating. No, 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 no. Like that. Pacquiao is having to work. Pacquiao is taking some punches. Pacquiao is getting hit and bruised. Pacquiao is winning big. This is the 11th round, okay? I know you got the power to knock him out, and you got that strength, and you're in condition. Take chances, baby. Let's take a chance in this round coming up. If you don't take a chance, we go home lost. Okay? Yeah, take this. Come on. Listen, take a chance. Take a chance. He's tired. He's desperate. Okay? Make it long. Make it long. Be not long. Okay, long? No, no. Many pockets.